Welcome everyone to another episode of the Fantasy Draft on Madden 18 with rosters from 1987 with the new Orleans Saints. And in today's episode, you guys get a little bit of a sneak peek of what is going to come, obviously as well as some insane highlights and just some overall good football from the boys. So the sneak peek is that the next series on Madden 18, the next Flashback Friday series that I will be doing, it will be with rosters from 1994 and I will be using the team we will be facing, the Los Angeles Rams. They're still at the Coliseum, so I figured good historical stadium, just kind of good aesthetics. But yeah, that will be coming out once this series ends. But other than that, here are the highlights. Second and three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. The Saints say they have it and they do. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. So it was a close game, not gonna lie. Uh, also a pretty boring game, you know, we scored two in the first touchdowns in the first half, they scored two in the second half. It was just really a game that just really don't kind of just want to forget about. So Boomer Sison, pretty solid game, 10 for 15, 104 yards and a touchdown. Cribs was very good, 11 rushes for 110 yards and a touchdown. Boomer Sison, two rushes for 44 yards. Uh, Chris Haynes, 2 for 20, two for 28. Spagnola 1 for 16. Cribs, 2 for 16. Marshall, 2 for 15. Rathman, the fullback, 1 for 13 and a touchdown reception. So, Kemp and Micho both had one reception for 8 yards. So we spread the ball around to everyone just because there really wasn't one sp specific weakness I was targeting in their defense. And we just couldn't really get things going all that well. Too Tall, Haynes, and Manley all had sacks on defense. And of course, Donnie Shell got an interception. And now we are hosting division rivals, the Carolina Panthers. Here are the highlights. Too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. Hey, as you go along with the game, because you don't want him to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, he's good backs on that last series and because they did so that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it into heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked off at the 17 So we would just squeak out a win in this game, 21 to 18. Just again, didn't really dominate the game all that much, but we were able to get away with the win. Sison, pretty average game, 10 for 14, 110 yards. Did have two touchdowns, but did have one interception. Cribs, pretty solid game, I guess. Nine rushes for 60 yards and a touchdown. 
Kemp, two catches for 48 yards and a touchdown. Carter, two catches for 15 yards and a touchdown. And Marshall and Cribs both had two receptions, but unfortunately, no success. Manley had two sacks. Too Tall had a sack. Butts had a sack. So three three main D linemen all got sacks. So defensively, was playing. We were playing pretty well. But yeah, we're now sitting at a solid 10 and 2 record. I mean, it's not great, but what is great is the fact that the Panthers lost both their games this episode. So we are now four games ahead, essentially clinching the division. So we will be in the playoffs unless somehow we lose every single game for the rest of the series and the Falcons and or Panthers win every single one. So I feel pretty confident you guys should as well. Next episode was, you know, should clinch the division in those games, I'm assuming, but I mean, you never know, and that's the joy of these series, and again, like I said, that Rams with the 1994 rosters will be the next series when that, when this series ultimately ends, hope you guys enjoyed this Flashback Friday, more, for more Madden content, check out the links in the description, and it is JTB, signing off.